If you enjoy the content on this channel and would like to help me out with the production of more content for this channel, then please consider supporting me on Patreon, link in the description down below. Hello everybody, this is Seether Cord, and welcome to another installment of my Seether Talk series here on YouTube. For today's episode of Seether Talks, we are going to be discussing artists within the furry fandom, and what makes someone an artist in the fandom in general. I want to bring up this topic today because I notice how a lot of people within the fandom tend to think that being an artist in the fandom means that you're someone who does art commissions. Being someone that usually draws furry characters and does them for commissions online, be it for fur affinity, deviant art, furry amino, things like that. For a quick second, I want to take a look into the definition of the word art, which is the expression or application of human creative skill and imagination, typically in a visual form such as paintings or sculptures. Producing works to be appreciated primarily for their beauty or emotional power. One part of this definition that really sticks out to me is typically in a visual form such as a painting or sculpture. And that does wrap back into the general idea I have for this video about how many people think that artists are only represented by people that draw or people that paint or people that make sculptures. And a lot of people think that also for people in the fandom. And it sucks because I feel like in the fandom there are a lot other artists that don't get credited as artists because of their way of expressing themselves. I personally feel that fursuit makers are artists. I feel like furry musicians are artists. I feel like furry YouTubers are even artists. And I feel like they are because I always felt bad growing up because I always felt like I wanted to have that title of an artist in the world or in the fandom. And I won't deny, when I first joined the fandom, I do feel like as if most people in the fandom wanted to just do art or draw. Because most of the people that I did talk to say that, oh, I want to draw, look at my new drawing, things like that. And I will say personally, I'm not that big on drawing. I've tried doing it before, but it never ended up being something that suit my fancy. Like, I respect it and all, but it's not something that I want to invest a lot of my time on this planet for. Growing up, I always wanted to make videos and work with film, but I always felt that when it came to joining fandoms that are very artistically inclined, be it brony fandom, undertale fandom, furry fandom, I always felt that most of them wanted to be more into the drawing aspect. So I felt kind of out there. I felt like what I was interested in doing in those fandoms, not that many people were doing so. But then furry YouTube started taking off in the years of 2016, 2017, so I rest my case then. But over time, I did learn to not really let it bother me anymore and really grow to be more fond and respectful to what my own personal interests are because I do feel like making YouTube videos and expressing yourself through YouTube is an art form as well. Because if you go back to the definition of art, you do have application of human created skill and imagination. I imply all of those into my videos. And I do have a lot of people who watch my videos, including you guys, that do appreciate my videos for their quote unquote beauty and emotional power. And that doesn't just even apply to me as a furry YouTuber. I feel like that also can apply to those musicians or those fursuit makers. They use their own human creative skill and imagination to put into those fursuits they make and into those mu that music they make for their furry related content as well. And that's why I do feel like this video does really go out to people that express themselves artistically in the fandom, pretty much the creators in the fandom. Because I know the feeling that I'm having right now is probably something that very few people have had. I do feel like there are some people who have felt the same way that I have about feeling as if what they're doing isn't considered art because it's not a drawing. But yeah, if there is someone out there watching this video that has ever felt that way, know that you are expressing yourself well. What you're doing is artistic and you shouldn't feel bad about it. Heck, this can even apply to fursuiters themselves. They use their own imagination and creative skill with their fursuits to make their own form of art, be it if they want to use their fursuits to start a play. Pretty much using anything furry related to help express yourself in some way with your own creative skill and imagination can make you an artist and a creator in the fandom. So I will say the overall message for this video is that whether or not you're in the furry fandom, if you want to express yourself, don't be afraid to do so and don't feel like people aren't going to respect it because what you're doing to express yourself creatively and artistically isn't the norm, isn't what people are used to. Do it whatever way you want. If you want to express yourself through being a furry in any weird way, be it with like rocks or tissues or toilet paper, do so. Just express yourself in your own creative, unique way. 
And that's all I really have to say for this episode of See-Through Talks for today. If you enjoyed this video and want to further help out my channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon, hitting that like button, turning on that notification bell, and subscribing altogether. I have been See-Through Court, and I will see you guys next time. So, goodbye, everyone. I will pay $50 to the first person who makes a human life replica of my fursona see-through cord made out of tissue paper. Just saying. To all you young, inspiring YouTubers, like, you want to have, if you don't want to have passion, if you don't want to put an actual talent work, if you just want to do it for money, make Kinder Egg unboxing videos, make the Christian <laughs> Rhyme videos. I'm being, I'm being legit serious. That yeah. is the most profitable on YouTube. Yeah, no, those videos get so many views. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. How about this one? I call it bold and brash. More like belongs in the trash. Ah!